Those fingerprint experts were all over this place. They dusted everything. They probably got my fingerprints. I bet they picked up your father's. He was here when you were trying on the wedding dress. Speaking of which, can I advertise that dress on your bulletin board? Oh, you can have a two-for-one sale. I'm selling the one I bought when I was allegedly engaged to Harry. Kate, I never understood how a wedding planner... You mean how she can get other people to the altar but not herself? No. I don't understand how you could live with a man without marrying him. I didn't plan not to marry him. Still, you mean how could I have sex with him? Sometimes I think I'm the last virgin on the planet. You think I'm odd? Absolutely not. I think what's odd is people making anything out of it one way or the other. Making sex or virginity out to be more important than either one is. I've always thought the most important thing was to respect yourself. My father says being a virgin and respecting yourself are the same thing. Does he tell your brothers that? He tells them to respect all women. Well, I have to tell you, I don't think any less of myself because I'm not a virgin. And if some man won't marry me because of that, if it matters to him, then we would not be suited for each other. Because I wouldn't want to marry him even if I were a virgin. I've got 50 years to spend with the man I might marry. And if that's the most important thing about me in his view, it's not in mine. I think a really interesting marriage has to do with a passion for ideas and love and friendship and adventure. Whatever the really important things in life. Like great Chinese food or... So you think, like Kevin, that sex isn't as important as I've made it out to be? I didn't say that. I said, respect yourself. That means not taking advantage of anyone and not letting anyone take advantage of you. His teachers are going to give him a package of assignments and homework to take with him. I'll take care of that. Aunt Alice, I appreciate this so much. I'm happy. Thank you. Bye. I'd rather keep Brian with me than send him to Aunt Alice's. Oh, he loves it over there. She gives him all the food we won't let him have. Well, that's why you usually don't let him stay with her. Kate, if some weirdo can find me, then they can find you. Maybe even look you up by mistake, because we have the same last name. No, I'd feel a lot better if Brian was somewhere out of the way. We can rent a motel room. With what money? Barrel makes his move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut him down. Nobody, in the house. Nobody's yeah. just yeah. 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 It's my imagination. Or did I say, not in the house? I didn't hear anything, did you? Yeah. Brian, go get washed up. We're going over to Aunt Alice's house. I don't want to go. It's just for a little while. I hate Aunt Alice. <laughs> want to bet he talks her out of it? Thanks for taking him out. Anytime. He's a natural. So, have you seen Melinda since recently? Mm-hmm. How is she? Seems fine. Good. You want me to cover any more wedding expenses? All squared away. Thanks for offering. Kevin. I make you feel better to hear that Melinda's miserable and wants you back. But she's not. And she doesn't. Sorry. Thank you for calling, Detective. You're welcome. Yeah. Good night. Good night. All around us, everywhere, beginnings and endings are going on all the time. With living in between. This is true for all living things. For plants, for people, for birds, for fish. For trees, for animals, even for the tiniest insect. Nothing that is alive goes on living forever. It may be sad, 
but it is the way of all things, and it is true for everything that is alive, for plants, for people, for birds, for fish, for trees, for animals, even for the tiniest insect. There is a beginning and an ending for everything that is alive. In between is living. What are you doing up? I couldn't sleep. I was getting stuff for Dad's memory book, and I found this in his closet. What is it? <laughs> 